Okay, with this kit, you get two different mountings. See the thread there? The, the thumb, this bit here. This one, the short one, is for the socket 2011. And the longer one is for 1366. And and these sockets and 1155s so this one is the one I need now with this one you also get a 0.7 millimeter washer that needs to go on there but with the 2011 one it doesn't say you use it okay so what I'm going to do is just Thread these in to the board, to the back plate that's already on there. It's tight. So, so. Last one. They went in easier than the XSPC one, so that goes there like that. Okay, now I'm gonna. Okay, I've got my MX4 thermal paste, sorry. Thermal paste, which I'm gonna put on. Processor is being cleaned. Now last time I, sp I spread it out with a card. Now that seems to have gone missing. So I'm going to go and find one. I'll be back in a second. Okay, I found an old card. Normally I just put a piece in the middle and go from there. But people have been saying I've been doing it wrong, so here we go. But you know I've always put a a dab in the middle. I've never had a problem. Never. I'm running a, running one in the uh, in my main office and downstairs in my garage and I have no issue whatsoever. Run the one in the garage sometimes runs all week. And I've clocked that. It's only a AMD 955, but I clocked that to 3.6 gigahertz, and I have no problem with it whatsoever. And I just normally put a dab in the middle. Now I'm going to take this off now. Okay. Now this is the intake. This is the exhaust. Now. Depending on which way I'm running this, I might keep it the same as last time. So that means the inlet needs to be this side, over to the front of the case. It could go like that, come down from the RAM, down, up from the up from the graphics cards into the radiator, 
out of the radiator, into the top, out of here, into the ram, across the top and back to the thing. But I've been thinking and thinking and thinking which way I'm going to do it. Getting better cooling going up, better cooling going down, or I could go across, I could come back up there, so that could go there like that, back up to there, across the bottom and out, back into there. But it's drainage, if I put it like that, the angle might be too much coming across. If I put it like that, it's going to be completely wrong. So I don't want the intake being over this side. If I do it, be too close. I think I'm going to put it like that because that way, then I can either go to I can either go to the ramp or I can go to the graphics card from the bottom. Decision made. And then have a spring sits over there. Yeah, they just say spring sits straight on there. I thought there would have been a washer on it myself, but here you go. And then what you have on the top is a nice. Okay, that's just caught the thread. Just caught the thread. Three. Just caught the thread. Number four. Okay. Three. Two, two, one, two, one, two, two, two. Okay, I think that'll do. That's that, that's. That feels quite tight. It says here, uh, use your fingers to tighten the screws until each are at the end of the thread. End of the threads. They're doing bollocks tight, but I don't want to bend the board or anything. But anyway, I'm gonna I can come in this way, or I can I can come in here, come out here. So either way, I'm fine with that. But I've definitely got to have a 90 coming out of here, or I can come across from here into here and out to the GPU. So. That is the CSQ block fitted with the intake at the top.